And everything starts off with these three beautiful steaks. They are one and a half inches thick. They have great marbly on them. And it is exactly what I'm looking for whenever I'm buying steaks. And for today's video, I have a very special guest. He is going to be teaching me how this French steak technique is used throughout many high-end restaurants. And the first and most important thing to do is to get them seasoned. For this initial stage, I kept it real simple. A good amount of salt followed by freshly ground black pepper and garlic powder. Once that was done, I went ahead and bagged them up, vacuum sealed them, and they are now ready to be cooked sous vide. Talking about that, I set my circulator to 135 degrees Fahrenheit and threw them in there. They're gonna be cooking for two hours. In the end, they'll be perfectly medium rare. That's perfect because it allows me time to go ahead and introduce you to today's guest, a real professional French chef. Bonjour, 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 Frenchie in the house. I am Chef Paul from Le Rivage Restaurant in the heart of what is called New York City, the Big Apple Hell's Kitchen. I cannot wait for you guys to see Frenchie in action. And before we do, remember that we had three steaks. Frenchie is going to be using the flambe method in one of them. As you know, another one will be a control. However, on the other one, I'm going to be making a compound butter, including this ingredient, Maker's Mark Bourbon. The first thing to do is to go ahead and evaporate a little bit of the alcohol. That is pretty simple though, all you got to do is to bring it to a simmer. And then if you want, you can just leave it like this and the alcohol will evaporate. But if you want to speed up the process, Process, you just gotta ignite it. Once it has been reduced to half, this liquid is now ready. The next thing to do is to go ahead and get some room temperature butter. And this might just be the easiest compound butter ever, as all you have to do is to mix both ingredients. Once everything has been fully combined, my bourbon compound butter is now ready. Today's side dish is gonna be my French onion soup burger that we're gonna do into sliders. Right off the bat, we're gonna start off with the bechamel sauce. So we're gonna start off by making a roux for the bechamel. So we have our melted butter here. All I'm gonna do is add some flour to that. So we're not cooking the roux all the way through. We're just creating our binding agent. Now we're putting in the milk and now we're going to thicken it. At this point, I'm going to incorporate just a little salt for seasoning. See when it's bubbling like that, you know that it's, that it's cooked all the way through. Now that my bechamel is ready, I'm incorporating cheese. We don't have a bechamel here anymore. Now we have what we call a sauce mornay. On to the next part, regular looking English muffins. And we're going to like doll them up. We're going to make them a little bit better. What I'm going to use is a cookie cutter and make them perfectly round. So now that I have them all all ready to go in these nice little circles, we have to split them. So usually, I use skirt steak blend. Since we are in the house of Guga, we're going to use, take a guess. I hope it's picanha. Of course Oh it is. yeah, thank you Frenchie. But I'm gonna show people how to make a burger patty. So basically, I'm shaping the hamburger into a hockey puck. When we're cooking, I want the same evenness all the way through the burger on the side as in the middle. Okay, so now we're gonna season the bread and the meat. Clarified butter it is. So we're gonna season with salt, some brown sugar, and I'm just gonna mix that in. We don't need too much. Don't worry about making it perfect. Just like the bread, we're gonna season our burgers. So here we go. On the next step on the side dish, we're gonna cook the onions. But since we are in the house of Guga, today, maker's mark. Woo! Now that is a fire. Oh, I love that. Just a little bit of mustard, little bit, not much. Tell me that doesn't look good, guys. Perfection. Tell me that doesn't look sexy, guys. Look at that, ooh. All joking aside, look at that, guys, ooh. Here's one, here's two, here's three, and this, my friends, is today's side dish. I cannot wait to give it a try to these incredible burgers. This should be a real treat. The same goes for our steak, which by now they are fully cooked. So I went ahead and removed them from the bag, pat them dry, as now it's time to put a crust. However, there's one more thing that we need to learn, and that is what flambe really means. And we got the perfect guy to explain. So basically flambe is a fancy way of saying you're gonna light your uh, fuel on fire. And in this scenario, it's usually alcohol. So basically we're warming up that liquid, we're gonna set it on fire, and we're gonna baste our protein, our dish. And what it does is infuses the flavors and seals it in and just explodes the flavor in your mouth. I cannot wait to see this technique in action because I know my steaks don't look that good right now, but watch this. All right. 
right, everybody, here we got our beautiful steak with an incredible side dish and my two new taste tester, everybody. Welcome, gentlemen. <laughs> we are blessed to be here. No, I am very grateful that you're here teaching me some flambe steak, this incredible slider. It's a mini burger. <laughs> We got Chef Brian here. You guys know him already. He's been in a few videos with me. Welcome, Brian. Good to be back. Now, here's the deal. I got a little experiment going on. I just want to know the honest opinion. If uh, this French technique flambe is a good thing or a bad thing. It's a great way to jack up the price at the menu. <laughs> <laughs> I like your honesty. <laughs> but in all seriousness, we got the steaks going on. Give me your honest opinion. I want to know what it tastes like, and I cannot wait to try your slider. But first, let's go this direction. Please dig in. Let's Gladly. All right, enough talking. Let's give it a try. Cheers, everybody. Mm. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Absolutely delicious. I mean, I might be biased because I love sous vide. I'd love to know your opinion. I like it because in a restaurant, it's idiot proof, right? Oh, no, 100%. It, it takes all the gas in your way. It's perfect every time. It is easy to make. If you haven't tried sous vide, you should do it. I absolutely love sous vide. He's already in his second yeah. piece. <laughs> That's right. You help huh. yourself. I keep up. But I do love the texture. There's just something really wonderful about the texture of a sous vide steak. 100%. That was delicious. This is our control. Now we got the other two experiments. Wait, well, that was a control? Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful control. <laughs> it's a good one. Okay, let's go on this next one. Give me your honest opinion. Please dig in. Smell it and tell me if it smells different, first of all. I'm not getting anything much different. I'm still smelling the, the smoke chaos I caused in this kitchen. Yo, you almost <laughs> burned my kitchen down, Frenchie. What was that all about? Oh, he's going already. We gotta go. <laughs> mm. Very mild, but there's a difference there. Do you feel it? Well, I'm not gonna make he no way. <laughs> I definitely like this one better. I agree 100%. Whatever was done to this steak, and I have been here before, so I know there's definitely a butter component to it. Whatever flavors is there just keeps evolving. Can we all agree this is this better? Better. A thousand percent, yes. Wow, it's better, everybody, and it's very easy to make. But now, can we please? This burger was made famous a few times by winning the Food and Wine Festival in New York. Basically, I took the components of French onion soup and put it into a burger. It looks beautiful. I cannot wait to dig in. Please, grab yours. Man, I am so excited right now. Thank you for coming and making this for us, Frenchie, from the oh, man himself. Thank you for I having me. I appreciate it. I'll shake your hand. Enough talking, everybody. I got to try this one. Cheers, everybody. Let's go. Mm. This is literally my favorite burger. Mm. Wow, that is amazing, everybody. A 10 out of 10, will highly recommend. Absolutely amazing. Highly recommend you guys going and eating it yourself or making it at home. If you have the chance to visit his restaurant, go check it out, everybody. Please, you will not be disappointed. Just make sure you let them know I sent you. Absolutely amazing, but now I'm excited for you guys to try the last steak here, which was actually French is special. After you, gentlemen, you're my guests. Let's try it right now. Give me your honest opinion on this one. You guys ready to go? A uh, Frenchie already went. Oh, Frenchie already went. Well, cheers, yeah. Brian. <laughs> Very interesting. Is this delicious because it was made by a French chef? I don't want to toot my own horn. I like the second one better. So this, I really get much more distinct alcohol flavor. Well, that's the whole point of the flambe. You get that almost like caramelization effect. I like it a lot. Frenchy likes the butter one. Me and Brian, we're over here. It's, yeah. it's fantastic. I'm getting pine nuts and almonds. It's really interesting. There you go, everybody. These are the results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe. Remember, everything I use is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget, Frenchie's restaurant will be in the description down below. Go check him out. Go give him some love. Chef Brian's information will also be there. Make sure you subscribe to him. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.